In the Philippines, many people attend Christmas Eve Mass, then enjoy a midnight feast known as Noche Buena. It's an open house celebration that includes roast pig, steamed rice, fruit salad, and other sweets. Friends and neighbors drop in to wish each other Merry Christmas. While Christmas trees are becoming more popular in Portugal, the nativity scene is still that country's most important Christmas decoration. And it's often the children of the family who set up the scene, collect moss to represent grass, and decide how the figures will be arranged. If you ever spend Christmas Eve in Greece, you may hear children singing and playing drums in the streets. If they sing well, their audience will reward them with sweets, nuts, dried figs, and even money. Many American traditions originated in England. Hanging stockings and wreaths, singing carols, even feasting and giving gifts can be traced back to Victorian England. Traditions are important for many reasons. So this year, consider establishing your own for you and your family. In Italy, loved ones exchange gifts on January 6th, a day known as the Feast of the Epiphany. It's a celebration of the Magi's visit to the Christ child. The first nativity scene was also developed in Italy, commissioned by St. Francis of Assisi in the year 1223. Thank you for calling and thank you for your support in 2014. No matter how you celebrate this wonderful season, we wish love and peace for you and your family. For 73 years, the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago has presented Christmas Around the World. According to the museum's website, the display features more than 50 trees decorated by members of the city's ethnic communities to showcase their diverse culture and holiday traditions. In Australia, Christmas falls during the summer season. People there decorate with trees, lights, and bunches of Christmas bush. That's a native tree with small green leaves and cream-colored flowers that turn red each summer. <laughs> 